year three for you, obviously different position. How does this one feel? You no, know, I mean it's different. Like it's a whole different feeling. Like I'm coming in here um, every day trying to get better. You know, like, it's a new position, so that's different too. And I'm just attacking it day by day. Do you watch anybody as a wide receiver now? Have you done that in the past? Like how, how, how do you kind of study the wide receiver? I mean, I watch everybody. But like, so like, some guys like. I love to watch Calvin Ridley. I love to watch Kadarius Tony. from college, college got last year. Tutu Atwell. Um, you know, Jerry Judy. I like to, even though my style of play not exactly the same as theirs, I like to take things from their game that I can use in my game. Like Devontae Adams, releases, you know, DeAndre Hopkins, how he catch the ball, how he catch me from um, traffic. Like things like that. I try to take something from everybody. Did this, did this feel home yet, or is this still a work in progress? And do you feel like a wide receiver now? Yeah, it's still home. Like, it's a work in progress for sure. That's always, we never we never finish. We always we get better. That's everybody. So it's still a work in progress, but it's still home. Does the mindset change from quarterback, or is it the still same mindset of going out there and practice every day and knowing what you got to do? I still the same. Be a leader. Um, Lead the guys, do my job 100% effort every day. Like the little things, it's still the same. Brandon kind of talked about you two getting together in the summer and kind of working on some routes and timing and things. What has it kind of been like to take the relationship you guys had in the QB room and now kind of get to use that in a, in a different way? It's great because, like, you know, I was in the QB room with him, so I know what he liked. You know what I'm saying? I know, like, what type of person he is. I know, like, how he responds to certain things. And, like, we used to watch film what he didn't like in receivers and, like, what he didn't like in route running. So all them little things like that I learned in the means with him, I'm taking that to the receiver room. And then our relationship is growing and growing. You know? Did playing quarterback help you as a wide receiver? How does it help you at all? Um, it helped me a lot. So with coverages, you know, with option routes, I know like I could tell when safety's rolling, little things like that based off alignments. I could, you know, it's easy. So then I know which holes to sit in the defense. I know when they're going cover two, so I should split the safeties, or when they're going one, I say, so I should dig it. Like little things like that, and it matters. So all that I learned from the quarterback room, I'm going to take it into the team. How deeper do you feel like this room is now than last year? It's real deep. And the great, the great thing about it is we all compete. Everybody in the room want to be the best. Nobody like, oh, he the guy. Donnie, he, he was the guy, so I want to be better than Donnie. You know, and then Bron Hotel, we want to be better than me. Then Kamari, we all just, and it's like, it's a good type of competition, you know what I'm saying? Like we brothers, we helping each other. But at the end of the day, we all want to be the best and we all want to help each other. Is this been a crash course as a wide receiver? Or is this something that you've learned over the years? Uh, how, how has it changed this transition in education? I would say a little bit has been a crash course. Um, like in the past when I did a little bit of receiver stuff, it was kind of athletic ability and like early on, but now we actually going against different defenses and stuff. And I understand it, but at the same time, like the receiver position is different. And like, um, like one big thing is like addition. I ain't know it's going to be this much more. <laughs> but like, that's a, that's a big thing, but it's kind of been a crash course. I've been learning a lot and it's been. What have you learned from Georgia? Uh, a lot. One thing, like, is just becoming a better man. Like today, he was on me today. Yeah, he told me I was, he said I'm like a, uh, like a lonely noodle. So he said every time you see me, I'm always like even kill, like straight face. But he said like he want me to like just talk more, open up more, you know what I'm saying? And so, but he taught me a lot, like just being a um, young man then, like different releases he taught me, he taught me like different tempos to use. He done taught me a lot. Isaiah, Donnie spoke yesterday about the questions that you're asking him and a lot of them. How much benefit have you had from these other receivers who have spent more time in the receiver room in the past? A lot. I was, man, I pick everybody, bro. But mostly Donnie. Like, every time I come back and I have a bad play, I come to Donnie like, hey, Donnie, you seen that? Like, Donnie, I had a dig, and, you know, I couldn't stack them. Then are we go watch film, I'm like, Donnie, you see that? Like, they didn't give me tips, and I'm just asking questions, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot. Donnie obviously had to fight a lot through it, and it was a difficult transition for him. How much do you think that's kind of helped you throughout your process of being able to connect with him? Um, it's gonna help me a lot because you know he got a different demeanor, he got a different swagger to him, and he a leader. Like he a great leader, so it's kind of like made me even more focused. You know what I'm saying? To get better, to get better every day. Like Donnie, he the type of guy like he big on even his diet. 
Like, you know, like some people like, okay, I'm gonna lose weight, so I'm, but he big on like, no, I wanna eat these type of foods for this type of reason. Like he big on all of that. So, you know, being around a guy like that just make you wanna just focus, like focus, cut out all the distractions and just focus on the task at hand. And that's the biggest thing I done took from him. I'll, I'll watch everything he do. Is, is there anything that tripped you up where you're at with receiver? Now. Like if you're in the room, trying to get on the studying field. something, is there anything that like, trips you up? It's kind of the, the not really. Not really. I mean, it's the, it's the same as like in the quarterback room. So that really tripped me up. Is, uh, is it the same when you get in the open field? Yeah. Make plays? Yes, same. Make plays. <laughs> with the ball in my hands, let me make a play. Make, make somebody miss. Is it accurate to say that Donnie's just a leader in that room for everybody, not just you? Yeah, Donnie's a great leader. Like, he a leader in that room. Guys follow him, and his play back it up. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and not only his play, but, like, how he carry himself, like I just stated. So, every, everybody in the room look up to Donnie, kind of like the guy that we kind of lean on. Or like, when I, like, I know for me, if it's when I need help, I kind of go to Donnie. But also, you got other guys in the room who also help like older guys like Brian Hightower who played last year. Like guys like that, B helped me out a lot too. He a leader in the room, so. But I would say everybody in the room leader.